Waking up early in the garage, <laughs> we're shooting bullets and we can't dodge. There is Chris with his gun. I can't even see the sun. It is dark. Where is the clay pigeons? I don't know. <laughs> we are off to clay bird shooting. Like every morning, we wake up early, we are in Makura Lodge and Chris, who is our host and also a farmer here, he's awake and he says, hey, do you want to try some clay pigeon shooting? So that is our early morning activity. It's still a little bit dark outside, but the sun is slowly rising. Perfect, because luckily the discs for the clay bird shooting are so orange, you can't miss them really. So Laura is holding the remote right now, and when I say pull, she's shooting a clay bird. So I say pull, she press the button, and shoom, the clay pigeon starts flying in a beautiful straight line, I'm like boom! And I miss it completely. So I blame this one on the fact that it's pretty dark right now, and I can't see much. Now it's my go. I fire and, oh my God, I hit it. I actually don't see myself hitting it, but when they're cheering, I'm like, oh, okay, I did hit it. I'm like, oh my God, I never thought I'd be able to do this. That's so cool. Yeah, I hit a clay bird pigeon. From then on, I get another one and then another one and then another one and then another one after that and then another one and then one more. That's six, I get six out of 10. Oh my God. I'm feeling very proud of myself right now. I'm proud like a pigeon. Not like a clay bird pigeon because my clay bird pigeons are smashed into a million pieces. Laura, what is that on your ears? Ear muffs. Why? Because I've uh, got delicate ears. All right, I lost miserably. <laughs> Laura, I have to admit, if we were in a gunfight, you probably would have won. Hello. Congratulations. Whoa! 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 Look at you! <laughs> Give me a high five. Say goodbye to our lovely hosts who have been amazing. They've shown us some awesome entertainment. We've gone horse trekking, we've done four wheel driving, we've done clay bird shooting and they've cooked us some amazing food we've cooked them some food so now we are back on the road we are making our way to Plymouthton, which is one of the suburb of Porura which is one of the uh, suburb of Wellington so basically we are making our way all the way up to the bottom of the North Island we are that close to the South Island right now There is amazing views behind us of the Ruahini ranges and just the general like rolling green hills of Manawatu. Ideally enough, there is a lookout with a platform, like a viewing platform. We can just pull in and just take it all in. We are stopping on the Plymouthon beach. It's facing right on the sun. We do have quite a lot of clouds, so it makes it for a more interesting sunset because the sunlight just kind of reverberates on them and give us some different shade and colors. Laura is going nuts on the camera, taking about 20 pictures of both the sunset and us, and us with the sunset and the driftwood and the wave and the reflection and the sunset and more clouds and more water and more reflection. Laura goes crazy. I've literally shot a gun three times once at my mum, once at my dad, and once at my grandma. Um, and each time I missed, 